What's going on guys, my name is Zerx and I'm going to be showing you how to outsmart your opponents in Valorant. So what I'm going to be going over today is just some clips I've hit in my Twitch stream, which if you would like to follow, a link is down below. I do stream almost every single day. So in these clips, I simply outplayed my opponents. It wasn't about the nicest shots or, you know, insane aim. It's about outsmarting your opponents. You have to get inside your opponent's head and kind of read them, understand what their next move is and what their thought process is. The main component I'm going to be discussing and talking about a lot is time and how much that has a factor in the round. Okay, so this is the first clip I want to point out. Um, as you see by the title of it, Insane Clutch with 15 seconds left, I just used my alt to get into their spawn. I've been waiting out. I ulted, I waited out for like 10 seconds or so so that they would check behind them and be like, okay, well, he's not here. Where is he? Is he taking his time? Is he going B? Is he in shower? Is he uh, A short? Is he B window? They have no idea where I'm at. I have the spike. So I could have gone straight to B and planted it. I'll just play the clip. Now, I had no calls. I just assumed that there's a guy heaven because it's a common place. You just gotta assume on this map that there's gonna be a person heaven on the A site. There's gonna be a person in lamps. There's gonna be a person on site. You just gotta assume common angles. They don't hold off angles, which is where you normally catch people off. Hence why it's called an off angle. But so I killed the guy heaven, 12 seconds left on the clock. Yeah. So that is a good call by my teammate that he said there is a guy in lamps. I did hear that, but it's always good to reinforce that to me just in case I'm too focused on time. So got the guy in lamps. It's a 1v1. It was a nice shot on the rays in lamps. I have enough time to plant because there's 4.67 seconds left. It takes 4.5 around. Like 4 to 4.5, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> he called that he took TP, which I didn't hear. I didn't even register this when I was actually going through this. Um, I cleared out lamps again, just in case. But if it if that call is correct, he was he had to have been by shower or on short a short. So I'm in lamps. I'm clearing out lamps. So, so I'm always looking over at short. I always do. Um, because I know that based on how much it's been ticking, this guy had to have not been near a side at all. Or he's taking his time. So I'm always, I'm looking out to see if he's pushing, pushing from short. I'm going to check showers. I'm going to check my flank. Because this is a really good spot to be in with this plant angle. See, and there's the audio cue. So he just made a footstep at short. I immediately hear that. Time has ticked way too long. He had to have been really checking every single corner because he has no idea where I'm at. And he, he must be terrified because I just killed two of his teammates and planted the spike. He doesn't know where I'm at. I know where he's at now. And there's the uh, Q for the defuse. He's just gonna try and stick it, but there's no point. Here's my footsteps, gets off of it, and I get the shot. And then I TP away so I don't die from bomb explosion. All right, so for this clip, this is an example of time. 
Now I mentioned this earlier, time is really, really important and is not really utilized much. People think it needs to be fast paced when you can take as long as you want, all the way up until 4.6 seconds, 4.5 around roughly is how long it takes to plant that bomb. That's all the time you need to make a play. So I give the Kamon short. I get the spike down. Kill the Sage. I get a nice shot on the jet, not knowing where she is, but then I decide to alt to back A. I have low health, so I want to dip into the situation and kind of get them guessing where I'm at. So I take my time, continue the shift walk. Shift walking is very important in this game. Checking every single angle because I don't know exactly where they're coming from. I catch the Phoenix off guard. And Spike is still down on a short. So I say I'm braining them in this clip. Because I know that there's 18 seconds left on the clock. Spike is down on a short. He could go full sprint to B and plant the Spike B. But why would he do that? Because you would have to non-stop. He wouldn't be able to check any corners and just plant right away. And hope I did not go B. So Raze is going to play. Well, I don't even know where Raze is. I don't know where Raze is. She could be in heaven and there's not enough time to run to the Spike and run B. She might be on, like, right next to Spike. And then runs over the B and could plant it. But she can't. Because she doesn't know where I'm at. So, essentially, I do a long wraparound. Yes, play a. You'll see play this. Ten seconds left. No time. As you see, I say no time because I just know that... She would have to be running towards site right now to plan it. There's no way she shift walked all the way up and grabbed a spike, went over the site, and is on site right now. There's there's no way. Just simply by time and checking corners and there's no way. Time has run out. I know it. So I just don't peek. I just hold the angle and just wait for the bomb to be planted and the round win. Yep, I knew it. It's all about getting inside your opponent's head. And this is a great example of utilizing time and just getting in your opponent's head because I could be anywhere. I could have gone shower i could have still been on short i could have pushed in the shower and gone on to site but and flanked behind her she has no idea there's too many angles to check and she's terrified so i just took the easy way and just let the round end and not get into a gunfight well thanks for watching leave a like if you did enjoy and make sure to subscribe if you're new I also stream on my Twitch channel almost every single day, so if you want to go check that out and watch me play some Valorant, it'll be uh, greatly appreciated. Thank you all for watching, and have a good one.